We're here with Cal Rowing head coach Mike Tatey, who is just back from Switzerland after the uh, international qualifying regatta. Can you talk a little bit about your time in Switzerland? It was, uh, you know, the guys perform really well. I mean, first of all, the, the venue's perfect, and uh, the weather was perfect, uh, the food was perfect, and, uh, and they, rode, they rode a really good race and qualified for the Olympics, so we're relieved, more relieved than happy. How did the race go from your standpoint? Uh, you know, according to plan, I think that they, they controlled the race from the beginning. I, I believe they were a better boat uh, than the other two crews, but still, you have to perform on the day. And, and they executed the race plan and, and um, got out early, controlled the race, and, and won. So it was, it was, you know, not as... Uh, you know, not as not as stressful as we thought it might be. And I know you've been a part of many Olympics before, but how gratifying is it now to to now go to the Olympics and qualify for the Olympics and be there in London? Well, it's more for the athletes. You know, I've been to, like this will be my eighth Olympics, but more for them. They worked hard. They're they're a really fine group of people, and um, easy group to work with. So yeah, I was happy for them. I mean, they, you know, for most of them, it's their first Olympics, and it's a big. You know, it's, it's, it's a great accomplishment for them. And, uh, and hopefully we, you know, we'll, if they want to get to the podium, they're going to have to get faster because, uh, you know, the times they rode over there weren't really earth shattering, but they were good enough to qualify. So now, now we need to step it up and, and pick up some speed and, and try to get to the podium. What's the schedule like leading up to the Olympics for your team, for the men's eight? Well, we'll they will actually, they'll probably go to San Diego for a week and train with the, with with Tim and uh, while I'm at the IRA and then they'll come back here uh, probably a week later so uh, and we'll train here and, and just do all the normal distance and you know stuff we need to do to get to get faster. Turning our attention to Cal you came back from Switzerland last night and you're on the water here at Brioni's this morning preparing for the IRAs over in New Jersey it's been a pretty busy schedule for yourself. Yeah look the coaching part's the easy part it's everything else that's hard so but it's, again, we have a good group of kids here, and uh, they're improving. Uh, you know, I'll see now. I haven't been here in, in five or six days, so uh, we'll, see, we'll see how much they've improved. Hopefully a little bit more than, than I expected, so we'll see. You're coming off a second-place finish in the Pac-12 uh, championships, and now you head to New Jersey for the IRAs. What are you looking to achieve as you get preparing for the IRAs? Well... We needed to. We needed to get. Fit. We've changed the lineup a little bit. Mm -hmm. We we feel that it's improved, um, but we'll see. I mean, it's a, generally a little bit different conditions there. It's generally a tailwind, a little bit warmer, uh, so a little bit warmer water, which you know is conducive for fast time. So, like, so we've been doing a lot of speed work, and hopefully that'll translate um, to the race and, and, and help them, you know, achieve a higher placing. And what's your schedule like when will you leave for New Jersey and how you will train? We leave before? tomorrow morning. So I was in Switzerland. I flew back to two practices today, and then I fly back to the East Coast tomorrow morning. So it's, uh, you know, I'm pretty good with frequent flyer right now. So. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, good luck in the RAs, and obviously good luck when you're training for the Olympics. Go Bears. Thanks. Thanks. Go Bears.